Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days and to day two of Soup Tember. Yes, 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 yes. Our buddy, our pal Amanda over at the Beals put together this really great collaboration to bring you a different kind of soup every day in the month of September to welcome the cooler temps, that fall feeling, that thing that we're all waiting for because we are tired of sweating, right? It's fantastic and today we're gonna bring you sweet potato soup. Now, if you're new here, I am the pantry person, right? I love having a fully stocked pantry, and so this is literally coming from all four corners of our pantry. This is a sweet potato soup. This is really good in the fall. It's really good in the winter, Thanksgiving. It's a great appetizer at Thanksgiving. Fantastic, just give everybody a little cup of soup, right? And you can make it fun at the end too if you want. Um, and toast up some of those little mini marshmallows and use those as a garnish. Uh oh, yeah. Um, but we're just going to make a really simple soup and we're going to make it quick and easy. If you don't have the freeze dried or the canned items, not to worry. Just use fresh. Fresh is fantastic. As you can see, I've got an apple there. I will put a link to the recipe and the recipe will have fresh ingredients, okay? Um, assuming that not everybody has the same kind of ingredients that I have. And then you can make substitutions and do your do from there. But I'm going to show you how I make this out of our pantry. So to start off with, we have a couple pints of canned sweet potatoes. We have some minced garlic. I've got some uh, chicken bro bone broth. I have my Thrive Life Foods. Uh, celery, onions, and carrots. I have an apple. Apple is good. And some heavy whipping cream, some butter, salt, and pepper. You guys are going to love this. It's so good. Let's get started. This is one of those warm you to the bone kind of soups. And eventually, we're going to need that. We are just coming out of some super hot weather here, humid in Michigan. Um, and I'm not going to complain because I know a lot of other people have it worse. So, we're going to use a half a stick of butter and then the equivalent of one um, chopped carrot. Okay, just dice it up any old way that you want to. Doesn't matter because <clears throat> when it becomes cooked, we are going to puree it anyway. And then some onion. Again, be sure to check out the recipe. Okay, but right now we're just going to heat this up and saute it to get all those flavors married and wonderful. And then literally one stalk of celery. What? Okay, that is why I love my, love my freeze-dried foods, because I can have those small, easy amounts very handy, very quick. So we're going to heat this up, melt that butter, get it doing its due, and we'll be back. While we are sautéing that, we're also going to add in the equivalent of about one minced clove of garlic, because garlic makes everything better. Now we're going to open up the canned sweet potatoes. And I'm dumping the juice and everything because it's going to be a broth anyway, you know. Why not keep all that yummy goodness together? And if you're using raw sweet potatoes, then you'll add, you know, a cup of water, liquid, stock, whatever you want to use and <clears throat> add that to the pot to cook down your sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes don't take very long to cook. They're actually pretty easy to cook. Next, we're gonna add some stock. And I have some really great turkey stock here. Okay. So we're going to let that simmer for a few minutes while I peel and chop my apple. Okay, so now you're going to take your peeled and chopped apple and you're going to add it to the pot. This adds such an amazing flavor. Just a nice little additional profile in this soup. My favorite part about this, I have to tell you, is the fact that all of this stuff is ready to go in my pantry. And so after working all day long, it's going to take me just a matter of minutes to make up this fantastic soup. And now we're going to add about a cup of heavy whipping cream. 
a little dash of some, whoop, a little dash, Lisa, of pepper, and a pinch of salt. You can always do that to taste however you like it, okay? So we're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes, make sure those apples get nice and soft. And then we're gonna take our immersion blender and we are going to blend it up. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can always, after it's heated up, you can kind of spoon it into a food processor and beat it up that way, or a blender, but you wanna do it in, you know, not all at once because it's hot. <laughs> so you wanna go easy with it. But any way that you can, you wanna get in there and you wanna mix that up. So let's heat this up for just a couple more minutes and then we will get the immersion blender in there. We are starting to see a few bubbles, so now's the time to get in there. And the nice part is the potatoes are already cooked, right? Because I can. So it's not going to take very much at all to whip this up into a nice soup. that simmer for a few more minutes whoops sorry about that and then I'll try getting some more of that celery ground down mm -mm -mm. and it'll help thicken it up a little bit too as it simmers okay look at how nice and thick that got Okay, so I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going okay, to Okay, as up. always, Mr. Sutton's going to do the taste test. It's going to be hot, babe. That's good. Good. That's good. Okay. Do you want some crackers for it? <laughs> okay, he now crackers. he has his crackers. So now we can see what kind of trouble we're getting into. Sorry for the backlight, you guys. He's the guy that likes his crack a little bit of soup on his crackers. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the the uh, salt and the pepper to taste, right? And I'll put the measurements for, you know, the sweet potatoes and stuff. I'm going to do the measurements for everything as it would be raw. But it's a great fall soup. It's not super heavy, as you can see. It's just the right consistency, perfect for crackers. And if you want to have a little fun, like I said, toast some of those mini marshmallows, put them on top. Kind of takes place of that candied sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed the sweet potato soup and the second day of soup Tember. Thank you, Amanda, for inviting us. Be sure to check out the link below for the playlist and for the list of all the people that are participating, be sure to check out all those videos. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. He's adding more crackers. <laughs> and until next time, please be safe.